YouTube, it's your boy Jack to the J. And we back with, you already know, another banger. Alright, so we got a Eternal booster box opening today. And that's what we finna do. Argent Depths, I believe is the name of it. Um, we got other stuff over here, but I'm just gonna let that pile up for now. Hey, before we even begin, I want to thank everybody that's to sub I want to thank everybody that's subscribed already. Uh, shout out to y'all. If you're new to the channel, I'm going to ask you to subscribe if you like the content and give a thumbs up. If you dislike it, go ahead and give us a thumb down. Other than that, man, don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. And let me know that, hey, you feeling these videos? I would like to see more of this particular game or these booster box openings. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay. Right. So what we do, if you're new, we're pretty much skimming to see if we see any hollows. We really want this color in the middle where it's glowing blue to be gold, but that's what gold is legendary. All right, so when this, when the enemy player plays a unit, you gain one life summon. Silence each single faction unit in the enemy player hand. All right, that could actually potentially go good with the deck I'm using. All right, so we got another rare quick scan. We got no hollow. All right, so we got Ferno Rageborn. You want to read it? Just pause it. I'm kind of do this quickly. All right, so we got another rare. I see no hollow, so we got All right, so we got Shadowland Wanderer Ambush. Shadowland Wanderer costs one less for each of your Shadow Influence Summon. Flying this turn. So when you summon it, it gets flying to. Alright, let's see what else we got in store. Got another rare. I don't see no. This time we got Bartholo's Keepsake. Draw a unit. Weapon or power of your choice from the top of the top four cards of your deck and bottom the rest. If it costs three or less, play it instead. So that'll be good for y'all that run it. Okay. One of them fast paced deck, I can't think of the name. I'm um, still not We got another rare. I don't know if I got this one yet. Lord. Ragnar. Quick draw. Summon if any of your units or relics have used their ultimate abilities, they get those effects again. Okay, we do got a hollow. You see the silver little almost like diamond shape in between the one and three. That's how you know it's hollow. Also, you just see the glossiness of it. It's almost like it's moving picture is moving so yeah so that's flying decay a four drop so we got another inferno rage born that move We well, y'all that are watching, if y'all wondering why that little bar at the top, that's basically my Twitch bar. It used it used to didn't show, but now it does for some reason. Um, but hey, we're gonna roll with the punches. So yeah, I'm streaming it from Twitch and porting it over to YouTube. Players can't discard card. Surge, next unit you play this turn gets a 1-1. It's not bad actually. Got another rare. 
Wreck Rats. Life Steal Surge plus one in Tomb gives a unit a weapon in your hand. Gives a unit or weapon in your hand. Life Steal. And plus attack equal to Wretched Rats attack. So how this works is basically Surge. Every time you get an influence, it get plus one attack. So it's two right now. You play one influence it gains one you play two against two when it dies which is in tomb effect it adds that attack to a weapon or creature alright so welcome to the stream oh we finally got a legendary okay yes sir that's what we after right there uh you was tuned in earlier you seen that i got a hollow of this and how the, it was illuminated and it moves and this one just stands still so that's pretty much the difference <laughs> rolling iron tyrant i'm not mad at that it has dk and endurance when an enemy unit dies play one one silver blade reaper with flying and deadly then rolling gets plus one one all right that's what's up uh, do it like this, one like for every legendary. When I put it up on YouTube, no hollows. We did end up, end up with delay. Negate an enemy spell and put it into the enemy hand. Play a Minotaur with the attacking life equal to that spell's cost, or play a Minotaur with the attacking life equal to your influence. And just. Okay, we got another one. That's number two right there. We like those. That's what we after. Let's see. Um, so, uh, oh, we got Roland. Oh, Roshi, the Entrancer. We got Imbune Summon, Imbune Roshi with the enemy unit as well. So if y'all know what Imbune is, it basically stuns the enemy permanently until this card is destroyed, and it take on that card's attack and life. So, not bad. At the end of your turn, your stun units get plus 2-2. Two, two. Okay, that could actually go with uh, Imbune, Land's Edge. Alright. Let keep it moving. Got a little Tinker, Oscar Chief Tinker. When Oscar attacks, gain life. Oh, gain influence, shadow influence. When you sacrifice a non Valkyrie unit, it becomes a Valkyrie with flying. At the end of your turn, play it from your void. Alright, we got another rare. And no hollow. Look that bad boy over. We got Steam Sprite. So flying 2-2 two, two, when Steam Sprite attacks, gain one fire influence. At the start of your turn, deal damage to an enemy player equal to the number of units. I just felt like that was legendary right there. Yes, sir. So, hey, man, that's three. So smash that light, man. We should have at least three lights on this video. Plus more. So we got another hollow. All right, so we got our second hollow of this. Okay, and let's go ahead. All right, so we got begin a new discard your hand, create and draw a fire sigil and random spell unit an attachment and attachment and a attachment i felt like that should say all right so like i said if you missed the hollow before that's the same one we done seen it hollow on hollow and hollow again yeah. all right so we got another rare no hollow Alright, so we got Tavrod, Eric, 
finance. Eh? Um, he's a five seven summon each other unit attack and life become the lower of the two and tomb draw a weapon from the top five cards of your deck and give it plus five discard it. <laughs> Wonder, behold, it's the coldest decay. Um, if you got an influence of every type, it get plus two to an overwhelm. If you got three of every type, it get ages double damage and life steal. So it could be pretty good if you know how to. Run. <laughs> So we're gonna keep it pushing. This time we got Master Conjurer. When Master Conjurer attacks, gain light or gain. I keep trying to say life. Gain a uh, primal influence when you play your second spell in a turn. Play four, four four Storm Dancer with flying. If you don't know what a Storm Dancer is, it's over here to the left, and it costs five, and it's that four four, and it also has flying. Okay. And this time we got Krill Clan Raider plus one one for each of your other units. Ultimate pay seven to kill each enemy weapon and curse. We got another rare. We got Rupsat, the savior. Enemy player plays a unit, you gain one life. Uh, when you summon it, silence each faction. Yep, that's the one we're in the hollow. Got a rare. We got delay again. Keep it pushing. Hollows. This time we got Sandblast Mage. It has DK. It's a 3 2. Ultimate pay for to give Sam Blast Mage 2 2 for each spell with cost of 5 or more in your boy. It summons and plunder. Bartholos keepsake again. We're gonna keep that pushing. Plenty of these. I'm trying to get them in hollow. They used to be six, which I thought was personally a perfect number. Now with seven, in my opinion, they was already hard to get out. That makes it just that much harder to get out. So, hey, it is what it is. I'll let y'all read it. Just pause it. There we go. I think that's number four, maybe? Legendary number four. Three or four. So we got another Roshi in Trancer. So we almost got like a playset. That's three or four of them. Right got another rare and no hollow. We done got about four of these already. Two hollows, two non hollows. Right. I'm always happy to see those. Basically, if you uh, have two uh, time and two primal. You get a treasure troll, which is a spell that costs two that allows you to draw the card. That's a free card. Cool. Number five. He, he basically the mascot of uh, today's opening right now, Bright Light. We got another one of them. It's just the one that gives you the treasure troll, just different colors. Fire and Primal. Until we get more hollows and more hollows. Shadowland Wanderer. It has ambush, which means you can play it on your opponent's turn or your turn. Shadowland Wanderer costs one less for each. And we already got that. Shadow Influence. That's flying in turn you summon up. No 
all of it. Pushing. We got Wanderer. Wandering Beholder again. time um, it costs five to influence a shadow basically it got revenge draw a unit from your void um, I guess if you got two influence it gets plus one life and flying so Arcanium battery I'll just let y'all read over that just pause it So we got choose a unit or spell with the cost of three or less from the enemy player hand. They discard it. We got transmute for three times and uh, three justice. Eight of four five. Meave Walker Aeon, which is to the left, and this is called from the beyond. Alrighty. Build a rare, rare. Um, Renko Silix, another one of those that give you a treasure trove. It's a power. So. It and here goes the third or fourth legendary. I was waiting on at least one. No rares, no hollow. Oh, we do got a hollow right here. Armed and dangerous. A spell, play 3-3 three, three weapon on two of your units. That's actually not bad. How much? Oh, it costs six. Alright. I don't think I have this twin sprightling. It's a wisp. This has deadly, unblockable summon player. Play a timekeeper with a life and attack equal to equal to your influence, your time influence. Which I know that is right. He's good, especially if you run a mono time deck, but if somebody silence him, he just die because he deplete back to zero zero. And if you got zero life, you die. Basically. Alright, so yeah. We got one more. Can we pull legendary? Here we go. Let's get it, let's get it. Oh, look, this has been our mascot, Brightling. Shout out to Brighton, man. He's been here about six or seven times. So. Yes, sir. So, I want to play a copy of one of your units without flying and give him flying. Pretty decent card. Um, well, I say mid game. But if you can get your power out quick enough, you can have it early game as well. But that completes this video, man. This has been your boy, Jack J. I thank you for tuning in. Um, like I said, if you're new to the channel, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, watch to the end and just support your boy with the thumb up, man. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay, y'all stay safe. Can't talk today, but this has been Jack J, and I'm out.